Hey, this is Angela Brooks with Blogging for Profit. And today I want to talk about why is network marketing so hard or it seems to be so hard. What is the reality behind all of these big top earners? Is there a secret that somebody is not sharing or maybe they teach you just enough to keep you stumbling so that you'll have to come back for more coaching, more whatever. Well, you know, I've been in this since uh, 2010. Seriously, I was in it earlier than that, but I didn't know that it was network marketing. I just knew that I was selling products from the back of my car, literally from the trunk of my car, and I was getting cash. So I thought that was business. I thought that was network marketing. But I also knew that I couldn't sell any more than what I could get my hands on or in front of somebody. So in 2010, I began learning how to take it online because I was a very busy human with very little sleep. I was working uh, in a hospital on night shift and I didn't, I didn't want to do the meeting thing, but you know, that's all everybody ever preached and it was all I ever heard. And then I would go to these meetings and they would puke on you from the stage or from the front of the room and, you know, just talk to more people, just talk to more people. You know, that concept is very easy to understand. We get it. We need people to make money. However, you have to know there's a skill that you have to know to be able to talk to people, even though we do it every day about a movie over a cup of coffee, um, pair of shoes, what we bought at the mall. Those are easy conversations. And what people don't understand, those are the same conversations that can generate business by simply having those conversations and listening. And, you know, a, a coworker of mine, our colleague, however you want to call them, was talking this morning through text. Um, she's a blogger, very successful blogger. And we were talking about the disappointment in some of the members of our team, which happens to everybody. And in the process, um, she's hit some really high ranks and I've hit some really high ranks and then you fall back and everybody's like, oh, I failed. No, that's, that's really typical. That is so normal in network marketing that people go up and down before they get up in the ranks and stay there. It is not a straight line. It is not a B line and it's not even a pretty line. Um, but what people have a concept in their thinking because they have comparitis to so many other people that are doing well, but they don't see how they got there. They don't see what it took for them to get there. And people can't compare somebody who's at the top ranks, what it took them to get there, because you don't see the work that they did in the background that pushed them there. And if you're not doing anything, you're not talking to people, you're not um, just building those relationships, which sounds so cliche and it sounds so simple, but it's true. You know, if you're not building the connections, because it may not be the person that you're having the conversation with that knows the person that's going to come into your business and explode it. It could be that one person that builds an entire leg by itself. It could be that one person that has connections to two or three more people that'll come into your organization. This is a, I don't know industry. So, you know, it is true that you can prospect and talk to people that are um, higher in the, in the ranks already that already have a knowledge base of network marketing, but your average person is talking to your average person who want anywhere from 500 to $800 a month extra. What would that do to your family? And that's what me and uh, Mary McClendon was talking about this morning in, in our text message is people can't relate to being a silver, which is a rank in my company. They can't relate to the money that a silver can make is anywhere from two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000 a month. That is called residual income that comes in each month without having to repeat the same actions that you're doing right now to get there. What they can relate to is $500 or $800. And we call this the 80, 15 and five rule, which is we, uh, Taylor Thompson is the one who taught that to me in a mastermind that I was in with Ray Higdon. And it was 
such an eye-opening display when she put it up on the board that 80% of the people that we meet, 80% of the people in our organizations only want five to 800 to maybe a thousand dollars a month. They can see that in their mind. They can relate to that, but they cannot relate to having five, six, seven, eight, even $10,000 a month. Cause I'm going to tell you the first time that I received $10,000 a month for my business, it was kind of like, oh, there's somebody going to come get me. Is it, is this legal for me to have this? Because we're so conditioned to having a little that when we're actually blessed with income from our efforts, serving other people, that it feels weird or it feels not good. And it's okay for you to make money. It is okay because you know, you can't serve other people when you're struggling yourself. When you're struggling to keep your head above the water, you can't put the raft around somebody else to save them because you haven't done it. Once you have hit those numbers and you're starting to generate, you know, 300, 400, $500, your confidence builds. And it is amazing the way it feels when somebody says, oh, I wish I could do what you do. And then you can say, you can. And this is how I did it. Now, Mary and I both are bloggers. She is a very successful blogger, has a very large uh, following on her blog, as well as I do. And this is how we've built our business, but not everybody's going to be a blogger and that's okay. Maybe you're a podcaster, like people who are listening to this podcast, they like to listen on the go. That's what drew me to podcasting is because that's how I learned. Um, I called my business an, an, a university, a mobile university, because I was always listening to DVDs, CDs. Um, and then when podcasting came around, I started you know, plugging in with my phone. So you have to do whatever it is that makes you warm and fuzzy. If you like to get in front of crowds of people, do that. If you enjoy having people over to your home, like, you know, one to five people, do that. If you are a blogger or want to learn to blog, you know, holler at me. I've got a system that'll help you learn to blog. Super easy. Um, no, it's not free. Nothing's free in business. So just, you know, put that in the back of your subconscious that if you're looking for a free business, then that's called a hobby. Um, but if you're wanting to learn how to blog, I do have a system that'll help you with that. If you're wanting to build a business, um, you know, get in touch with me after listening to this podcast. Let me see if what I've got works for you. And if it does, great. If it doesn't, maybe you know somebody that does. That's the way our business works is on referrals. And he said, she said is the most powerful advertisement out there. So I just had to jump on here and talk to you for a few minutes because, you know, me and Mary were talking over text and I just felt like somebody needed this message. It could be you. It could be somebody, you know, that you could share this podcast link with, but either way, um, I want to wish you the best. And I want you to know that it's okay to make money. Money's not evil. It's not mean. It's not dirty, but it can definitely give you the tools and the option to do bigger, better things to help more people um, to, to have and to do. There's nothing wrong with having good things or, or going places. And because when you go to new places, guess what's there? New people. And guess what new people might need what you have to offer. So as you are building your business, as you are building this journey of business, it won't be easy. It won't be. It won't be pretty, it won't be clean, it won't be straight. But what it will be is an encouragement to somebody else that you can serve and show them. Be the example. Yes, this is hard, but I'm still doing it. Um, and I am open to helping you if you need it. I'm open to helping your friend if you need it. Um, share this blog post. Come find me on Facebook under Angela Brooks. You can find me on Instagram. And you can find me on AngelaBrook.com, which is my blog. So I hope you have an amazing day. Hope this serves you in one way or another. And I will talk to you on the next podcast.